Hello friends, welcome to SQL with Manoj. Today in this video, we will see how we can store a JSON data in a SQL table. So in my previous videos, we saw how to convert a data from a SQL query to a JSON string. And uh, in another video, we saw how to do its reverse, like how to convert a JSON data back to a SQL row and column format. Now we will see how we can store this data permanently in a SQL table. So for doing this, we will be using the same open JSON and uh, JSON value functions that we used previously. And uh, there is another function that SQL Server has provided that is is JSON. This, this function we have to use while creating a table as a check constraint. Okay, so let's see how to do this. So first of all, we will be creating a table. I will create a table by pointing to this uh, database because I'll be using a sample data from this database as well. So we use AdventureWorks 2019. Okay, now we are using this database. Now I'll just uh, create a table. Create a table. I'll put it the customer order. Customer order. Okay. So what I'll be doing is I'll be using the person table and uh, the order table. So I'll be pulling some columns from the uh, person table. Okay, uh, we can check uh, here as well, Alt F1. So it will give us the columns that are used by the person table. So business entity ID, okay, that is integer. Then the first name, okay, uh, I'll make it back here, 50. Let's make it anywhere care. Then the last name. Okay. So uh, three columns and then the uh, the customer order detail I'll try to put. So what is the customer ID and the customer name and uh, what are the order details that he uh, that he has. So I'll name this column as order order details JSON. So so we are going to insert a JSON string here. So that's why I've uh, put a suffix of JSON here and uh, storing JSON is simple in SQL Server because JSON is nothing but a string. So we can use anywhere care, right? And uh, I'll give a size of thousand. And so we can use anywhere care data type to store this particular data, right? Now, uh, you can store this JSON right uh, in this particular function, but what about what about the validity of the JSON? The JSON that you are going to store is is it valid or not? So to to validate it, we will add a check constraint. So check constraint, then we will use this particular function is JSON. Okay, and on which this column we have to apply this function, right? So is equal to one. Right. So is equal to one means that this function will validate whatever the JSON data is going to uh, store here is a valid JSON. Should not be a should not be arbitrary uh, a character or a string. Okay. So I'll remove this person. Okay. Now our table is uh, created. Uh, our table script is created. I'll execute this. Okay. Yeah. So we are done with our table creation. Now what I'll do is I'll just create a some create some sample data, right? So for creating a sample data, I'll use uh, the person table. Okay. So first of all, select from person, then I will pick the columns. So business entity ID, comma, first name, then comma, last name. And here we will create a JSON which will in square brackets. Okay, so here we'll uh, get the JSON, and to get the JSON, we will use the sales dot sales order header. So there will be a sales order header table. So yeah, we'll pick this table. Okay, and uh, select from 
sales order header and sales order header what all columns we have in sales order header let us try to see alt f1 so these are the columns so i'll pick sales order id then order date right then uh, let's say what all things we can pick Let's let's pick the subtotal, okay, and uh, tax amount, okay, and last column total due. I think these columns should be enough for us, okay. And uh, so what I'm doing here is uh, at a column level, I'm trying to give a sub query, right? So why we are giving a sub query? You will understand it here, where, right? Uh, I'll try to give an alias, okay, s dot customer id is equal to uh, we have this as p p dot business entity id okay so let's see uh, how these records look like okay now we cannot execute this query like this because uh, you know this is one row and for one row, there can be a possibility there are multiple rows in the subquery, right? Now to make this work, what we have to do is we have to create this as a JSON, right? Now to create this as a JSON will convert multiple records into a single value, single string, right? So we'll have one row of JSON containing multiple records from the sales order header. So for this, what we'll do is we'll use for, for JSON auto. So for JSON auto will get us single record and this will execute without any issues, right? So why this happened? Why it failed in, you know, in first go? Because for example, if you take this, right? So this particular customer has only one order, okay? But this particular customer, if you see, right? It has multiple orders. So it has first order is still here, right? This is the second order. Sales order ID is this ending with 50. And here sales order ID is this ending with 99, right? Now, uh, if you put, if you apply a sub query in a select statement, means uh, in the select statement with other columns, it should only return one row. If it returns multiple rows, it cannot align with the other columns, other, other rows, right? So that's why it failed in one go. Now, why it didn't fail now? Because now we have converted multiple, multiple rows into a single row of a JSON string, okay? Now it is a bit easy for us to, you know, put this here, right? And uh, what we can do is we can uh, uh, wrap it inside a, a CTE, okay? So I'll just put uh, this as CTE, okay? And after this, insert into into so our table name is customer order so inside to customer order i will select all these columns so i'll copy the columns list select business entity id first name last name and this one from our cte where uh, i don't want you know these null columns so not done. right so remove let's remove and check this first we are not inserting i'm just querying the cte so it will give me only the results where you know customer has ordered right now we will apply the insert statement okay so insert statement you see yeah okay now it says string or binary data would be truncated because uh, there is a possibility where you know we have taken uh, smaller names uh, smaller length or there might be a possibility where our uh, this nwire cat this thousand is exceeding so we, what we can do is we can try to put max okay so I'll drop the table drop sorry drop table customer order Again, I'll create the table customer order. Okay, by giving max, 
uh, it will it, it can contain data up to 2 GB so it, so if a customer has multiple orders okay uh, those will still be stored so the limit won't be limited to 1000 okay now okay 9778 records got inserted in this table now let's see now let's check this table customer order okay so we'll just try to query this particular table select star from customer order okay see now we have the records right every individual with every individual we have these customer orders right uh, in a single uh, row so some customers will be having multiple orders right and uh, if you can see you know these are having multiple orders but still we are able to maintain them store them in a single row okay this is what you know json gives us benefit so this is it for today i think uh, you would have liked this video uh, please let me know your comments and suggestions and uh, uh, thank you for watching this video please like and please subscribe have a great day thank you